Hi everyone, welcome to the first video on setting up your Mac. For this video, we're going to install Xcode and Xquartz. So to do so, you can navigate to your internet browser, whichever your heart desires, and from there, go to hinaminglani.com. And then under resources, we're gonna find our neuroscientist read the docs. And this is really going to be our home base and all of the documentation that accompanies these videos will be found here. So going to Xcode. So we need Xcode because it's an integrated development environment or an IDE for Mac OS. So it gives us all of these um, software development tools that are made by Apple, but which don't come pre-installed on our computers. So we get access to a compiler, a text editor, and various other tools. So you might ask, you know, what's an IDE? Um, an IDE helps us code. It's a fancy way for us to write and execute code, um, to debug. And um, so if we wanted to write scripts within the terminal, Xcode will allow us to do that. However, I prefer VS Code. So in a later video, I'll show how to get VS Code set up on our computers. So you can either install this directly from the terminal or you can use the link from Apple. But since this uh, command could be a little glitchy depending on what version of Mac OS you're using, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Apple directly. And then here it's gonna prompt me to sign in, which I have, and then it's going to need to be authenticated. Okay, sure, let's trust this browser. Okay, so here we're gonna hit download for the Xcode and this should go pretty quickly-ish. So I'll pause the video and return once it's downloaded. All right, so that took about 15-ish minutes for me uh, to both download and unzip. So here we're gonna click on Xcode beta. Let's see. And then hit agree. Okay. So it's gonna end. All right, so it looks like it has finished installing. So we are good to go. We can just close out of here and okay. And the last step will just be to take our Xcode and move it into applications. And we should see that right there. Perfect. Let's talk about Xquartz. So Xquartz is an open source application that connects Mac OS graphical frameworks to graphical user interfaces. So if you've ever used FSL or basically anything that has an interface, um, what you're using or, um, is a GUI. And so basically what Xcords does is it makes it possible to use GUIs for applications that weren't developed specifically for Mac. So it allows us to use FSL on our Mac computer, for example. And so to install Xcords, we're gonna go to the Xcords site and download the .dmg file. And this is goes a little bit quicker. So it's gonna open this and we're just going to move it into our applications after it's done with the installation. Okay, so I'll return once this is done. All right, it looks like this is all done. So we can just close out of here move that to trash and we're all set. So in this video, we downloaded Xcode and Xquartz. And in the next video, I'll jump into uh, downloading a package manager or two. So I'll see you then.